In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the power output of your RF distribution amplifier using the Nano VNA. This can be very helpful for troubleshooting and also making sure that the outputs are all operating to spec and or setting a link budget. So to get started, we're going to need to assemble all the components we need. Obviously, which is first the Nano VNA, which I have calibrated from 470 megahertz to one gigahertz, which is the specifications of the DADSRD. I also have the two coaxial cables connected and take special note that these silver connectors here are 20 dB pads. And I've got one connected here to the input port of S21 and then one connected here, which is going to feed our antenna in on the SRD. The input of the antenna of your RF distribution amp is used to a very low level. So this allows us to keep us from overloading the front end of the antenna input of the RF distribution amp, and also to not overload the front end of the Nano VNA. The Nano VNA on the input side is not designed to take any more than around plus three to plus five dBm. So we could easily exceed that when measuring an RF distribution amp or transmitter. So you always want to use a pad to avoid damaging the unit. You can find links to all of these adapters in the description of the video according to the category to help you make these measurements. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do here is make sure that we have power going to our RF distribution amp, which we do here. We want to start with the unit powered off, and I currently have it powered off. And we also want to make sure that we're not sending bias power down our antenna line. So that will need to be disabled. Next, we're going to connect the two cables, which have our 20 dB pads and the cables we use to calibrate into the input side of the SRD. And then we're going to take the S21 input side of the Nano VNA from one of the outputs also on the A side here. This particular unit is designed to work at 470 megahertz to one gigahertz. And also according to the manufacturer specification, it has a plus three dB to plus nine dB output gain. Now we don't know where that gain is or what frequency or how it works, nor have we checked it on the VNA, which will measure this specifically. So this is a very helpful measurement when working with RF distribution amps to see what you're actually getting. Now that our connections are made to the RF distribution amp, we're ready to set up the settings on the Nano VNA. The first thing we're going to do is recall the calibration from the 470 to one gigahertz for our measurement of this RF distribution amp. Next, we're going to go into the traces to go display trace, and we'll want to select one of our traces. And we're just going to go ahead and use trace one for this measurement. Next, we'll go back and we're going to make sure that A, we're using S21 as a log mag measurement and the log mag is selected. And then we're going to make sure that our channel says S21 through here. So if yours says S11 reflective or reflection, you want to click it so it says S21 through here. The next thing we need to do is we need to input an offset for the 40 dB worth a pad that we put on the input and output side of the Nano VNA. To do this, we're going to go into the S21 offset and we're going to do 40 and press enter. Now we have a 40 dB pad reference or a 40 dB offset. So when we're looking at the Nano VNA, we're going to get the correct measurement. Now that we have all these settings sets, we're ready to go ahead and turn on the DAD SRD. So we'll go ahead and do that, making sure that we're not enabling bias power just for safety. And we should have our measurement. One more thing I'm going to do here before we take a look at this measurement is I'm going to change the scale. Our scale currently goes all the way down to minus 20. And I don't need it to go down that far because really what I'm looking at is gain. So to change the scale, I'm going to go into display. And the, under the trace here, we have selected, we have scale as well. And on the top, we can go ahead and choose 10, but on the bottom, we're just going to go ahead and choose zero. 
And notice that our curve is much more readable. And then we also have the numbers here on the side, which I'll show you, which is show grid values. That allows us to easily reference any point to get an idea of how much gain that we have on the RF distribution amp. So here on our marker, we notice on the far side at 470, we're getting about 8.28 dB of gain. So at 470 megahertz, we're getting 8.28 dBm of gain. However, on the far side of the measurement, all the way to one gigahertz, we are getting 3.4 dB of gain, approximately. So there's a difference there of about almost 5 dB. A couple little cool, helpful hints here is we can also go back in here to go back and then go into markers by pressing marker on the main menu. And we can actually search for the maximum and minimum. So we press search for maximum. We're going to see here that our maximum gain currently is around 8.21 dB. And then if we click again for minimum, then we can see that our minimum, our minimum gain is around 2 dB and also see what the frequency in which the minimum gain is, which is around 886 megahertz. And our maximum gain is right around 487.225 megahertz. So ideally you would go through each one of these outputs on your RF distribution amp to check the specifications. This is pretty close because according to the manufacturer, it's anywhere from a plus three to plus nine output. And that obviously is according to frequency, but you can see here and measure each individual output to make sure everything is measuring the spec. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe so you can get notified about future videos on this VNA playlist and others, and we'll see you soon.